Coming up on Cardinals Insider, we take you to the Cardinals Fantasy Camp in sunny Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> including what it's like to play with David Freeze. Hey, not bad. And later... Hank, someone's recording you. Oh! <laughs> Fantasy camp manager David Eckstein gets mic'd up at Roger Dean Stadium. All that and more ahead on our Fantasy Camp special. Welcome to Cardinals Insider, I'm Ozzie Smith. Today's episode is all about Cardinals Fantasy Camp. This camp allows you to live out your fantasy of playing for the Cardinals, no matter your skill level, from Bush Stadium to Cooperstown to Jupiter, Florida. Every camp is unique and a whole lot of fun. Trust me. Our goal is to make you a big leaguer while you're here, uh, regardless of your performance and your, and your capability to play. I tell people we create an authentic big league experience for you. You're going to be a Cardinal for four or five days. You're going to be immersed in an experience that's going to connect you with people from all over the country and a variety of our alumni that span six decades of Cardinals baseball history. But until you get down here and experience it for yourself and put the uniform on and wear the birds on the bat and talk to Whitey Herzog and uh, listen to Ozzy Smith give you instruction on how he became a Hall of Fame shortstop. You really can't explain it until you witness it for yourself. So you come back down here and then you get to kind of relive some history, uh, relive the past, but also you get to even meet players of not your generation. Uh, last night I met David Freeze for the first time. I met Alan Craig for the first time. I met Scott Spezio for the first time guys that I watched play because I become a fan after I stop playing. I try to tell people that, you know, if you can play, it might enhance your experience, but it's not going to diminish any of the fun you're going to have. The morning meetings, this the camaraderie, how accessible the players are, and how grateful the players are for Cardinal Baseball and, and Cardinal Nation. So it's our way of kind of saying thank you to everybody. But we are going to provide you with everything, uh, from your helmet to your uniform, right down to your, your dry fit and a pair of shorts to wear back to the hotel. There's nothing we really don't provide in this camp. And you're going to feel like a big leaguer, especially when you play that game over at the big stadium at Roger Dean. Uh, you're going to have uh, starting lineups. We're going to have walk-up music. Your, your uh, headshot's going to be on the scoreboard. Brian Jordan actually said a few years ago at one of our camps in St. Louis, he's like, man, this is better than when I was playing for the Cardinals. So that's good to hear what an alumni tells you that. For anybody interested in Fantasy Camp, I think the best thing to do is to email us at fantasycamp@cardinals.com. This Jupiter camp is very difficult to get into. The wait list is long, but it's worth emailing us because there's an opportunity to potentially get in. We'll be back here in Jupiter in January of 23. Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. I'm a, I'm a kid from St. Louis, and so, you know, I kind of feel like a camper sometimes. We sit down with hometown kid David Freeze. That interview, next. Fantasy camp is just as much fun for the alumni as it is for the campers. This year, David Freeze was in attendance for the first time. Our Emily Stevens got a chance to catch up with the former Cardinal in between games. Welcome to Cardinals Insider at Fantasy Camp. I'm Emily Stevens, and joining me today is former Cardinal and hometown kid David Freeze. 
David, I know this is your first time at Fantasy Camp, so tell me a little bit about how your experience has been so far. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Um, you come down here, there's 130 or so campers, and uh, just ready to play some ball and hang out. I know there's a lot of guys that have been here before, and um, they haven't seen their, their buddies in um, you know, a long time, especially because of COVID. So uh, everyone was excited to get it going, and uh, you know, we had a rain out one day, so we had to slam some games in. But um, I think we're all we're all healthy and uh, you know ready for the rest of camp. For you, I guess you're playing with guys that you've played with before, and also guys you probably haven't met before, right. as well as the campers. So just how fun has that been? Yeah, it's great. You know, um, it's all about the campers' experience. Uh, but to have, uh, like you said, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a kid from St. Louis, and so you know I kind of feel like a camper sometimes um, being around these guys because I grew up. You know, watching Ray Langford and Brian Jordan and um, you know everybody else, and you know you have Ozzy running around. I still can't believe I get to be around him, but uh, it's just really cool to uh, to throw the jersey back on. It's the first time I've had a Cardinal hat on, and you know a pretty long time. And being down here in Jupiter um, brings back a lot of memories. I was gonna say that being here at Roger Dean probably brings back a lot of memories too, because I'm sure you spent a lot of time here. Do you recall maybe your first memory here at Roger Dean? Do you remember the first time you were here? Yeah, so I got traded over, I guess, the winter of 07 and got invited to big league camp. And uh, I know I was terrified <laughs> of rolling in here, uh, but I think just coming in and, and seeing the, you know, the Cardinal team, seeing Tony La Russa, you know, all those guys in person, you know, you know you're a, your goal is to try and be a part of, you know, that, that squad and trying to win a championship. And so it hits you pretty hard that it's real. And you just have to you have to check yourself at the door. Um, yeah, I, I haven't been back here since you know 2013, and so uh, pulling up here with everybody a few days ago brought back a lot of memories, and yeah, I cherish them. That's awesome. I'm sure. Also, you you retired what 2019, so only a few years ago, really. But being back here and getting to actually play baseball, <laughs> does it does it make you miss baseball? Yeah, it does. It uh, it, it does. Um, yeah, I haven't done really any baseball activity since the last playoff game with the Dodgers. Um, so to get out here and wake the body up and, and get going, it's it's been great. And um, you know, you just you understand how much you miss it. Uh, being around all the guys and and kind of kind of jacking around in the clubhouse and and all that. It's just it's just been a lot of fun. What is it with this organization? There's so many alumni. They want to come back. They want to come to games. They want to participate in events, you know, such as this. You know, why do you think that is? I just think it's how, it's how they're they're treated, and it's um, you, there's just a certain feeling about being a Cardinal and being a part of this organization, and uh, you just build memories. You want you want to come back to those memories, I think. And when you get around good people and good relationships, you're drawn to that. When we return. And there was a heck of a pitch and a heck of a location, and we were all shaking. I sit down with the White Rat, Whitey Herzog, to talk about 82 and being back on the field at Fantasy Camp. Former manager Whitey Herzog was also in attendance at this year's Fantasy Camp. The White Rat and I go way back. Brett McMillan joined us for a conversation about baseball in the 80s and patrolling the backfields in Jupiter. Always good to have Insider at the ballpark here at Fantasy Camp, and even better when we can sit down with not just two Cardinal legends, but two Cooperstown Hall of Famers. You know them very well, 40 years after a world championship, Whitey Herzog and Ozzy Smith. Whitey, uh, Let's start with the final out. There's going to be some great promo items this year when fans come to the ballpark. One of them is a, a moment that captures that final out. What do you remember about watching that? Well, Bruce Sutter was on the mound. He took over after we went ahead uh, in the eighth inning. And the center fielder was up and uh, had a lot of home runs. And he was two outs. And Bruce had a great split finger and uh, ball and... Uh, Probably was the most dominant relief pitcher I'd ever seen. That's why we traded for him, and he did a great job for us. But he struck out the center fielder on a high fastball to end the World Series. Threw it right by him, and it was a heck of a pitch and a heck of a location, and we were world champion. Ozzie, what about you? You're watching that moment from the other angle, uh, from shortstop. Just what do you remember about watching uh, watching Bruce throw that pitch? Well, you know, Bruce being that uh, split finger guy, you know, you would think that that would be the pitch that he would use in that instance. But boy, he threw a fastball like it was about 100 miles an hour. 
And you know, Bruce couldn't break a plane of glass. That's right. <laughs> With an 85 mile an hour fastball, but it was a great moment for for all of us, you know, because when you when you are able to win a world championship, it means that you had to deal with a lot of adversity during the during the course of a season, a lot of ebb and flows, and and '82 was certainly one of those years. And uh, you know, we pitched very well against them, and I think that that uh, that's what allowed us to win. Let's close on this. You guys are still here, taking part as part of the Cardinal family fantasy camp. It's neat to me to see some of these people who come and they just want to shake your hand. And I mean, you make their day, their month, their year. What's it like to to still be part of this in that way? It's great. I, I mean, to um, you know, for me, and I tell these guys this all the time. We get to see after we retire, we see these guys come through the organization. And, good players, and we've had some good players come through this organization, but they're players that we never get a chance to meet. We never get a chance to know them. So coming down here to Fantasy Camp gives us that opportunity to meet the guys up close and personal and, and get to know them uh, as part of a uh, as part of a Cardinal family, you know? So it's it's been neat for me to be able to come down here, and of course, with the fans, you know, it gives them the opportunity to feel a part of what Cardinal Baseball and Cardinal Nation is all about. What about you, Whitey? Well, we got 120 players down here, and Ozzy and I have a job to do. The reason we're roaming the field, he has to find the most viable player in this thing after five games. I have to pick the worst player, and I got the toughest job down here, and Ozzy's going to help me, and of course the managers will help me. They'll tell me who their worst player is, and then I got to pick the last one. We're going to have nine teams, so I'm going to have nine candidates, and <laughs> I've got to pick the worst player in the camp. That is the toughest job down here, believe me, because it's, I have seen players come to this camp that never hit a fair ball. <laughs> they don't get a ball out of the batting cage in batting practice, and I got to figure out which one's the worst. That's tough. You have your work cut out. They get the big league experience. They are not all big leaguers. You guys had a lot of success in the big leagues. Thanks for taking time to sit down. Ozzy Smith, Whitey Herzog, I'm Brett McMillan. It's Insider at the Ballpark, 40 years after that magical 82 run. And still to come... Nice! Oh! We mic'd up David Eckstein as he manages a game. Stay with us. David Eckstein managed one of the teams at Fantasy Camp. He got to pick his own roster, including alumni. We decided to mic David up to see how he managed his team. Take a look. Hey, whoa! Hey! Hit the cameraman! You're the singer. You're Sand Frog. Let's go. I, Let's go. I, I, I retired, man. Got no voice. Just a little something. Do, do it more in a soft voice. We'll sing this one. You know this one. <laughs> this is your song. Go. No, not, not singing. So, what do you think of Rick and Keel? Rick and Keel? He's Mike, too. Oh. <laughs> you know that was a strike, Ricky. Not in the league we play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is so true. Hank, someone's recording you. Oh! <laughs> nice! Oh! oh. 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 Nice! Get crazy, Both oh. ways! Come on now! Get begging! I am! I am begging so much right now because I saw what they did to Big Spice! Strike! Yeah. Woo! Come on, baby! Oh. Hey! Joe, are you allowed to steal? You can't steal! Hey, time out. Yeah. I'm just telling you, you guys went 3-2 with two outs. They mean, I know we did. He did. did. So and I told, my, I, I told him not to. You went, we went. I said stop. <laughs> but after you did it. This is who you told me to draft, right? When well, you yeah, gave me the yeah, first yeah. pick. Yeah, well, clearly I gave you the first, first pick, pick in the alumni my draft, game. the camper draft. And so, nice. you know, that way you could draft freeze, that right. way you could draft color. And, this and, has all been a setup right. from the start. And so, so and like, you know, your yeah. wife is enjoying her purse, right? Your wife's enjoying and, the purse. And, the and, girls and love the lightning passes. So, and then Delaney, yeah. the um, Jordans, right? Yeah, Delaney, the Jordans. So this yeah, has all worked out well for our family okay, as well. So awesome. we appreciate it. Good. good luck with the championship. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Oh! Come on, baby! Go, ball! Oh! Good tag, good tag! Keep going, Mark! Keep going! No, 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 no! Great job, Harry! Great job! Nice job, good, Thank good. You. Thank we'll you. We'll see you later. <laughs> 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 nice job, Amy. Good job. Good job.
Nice job, baby. Nice job. Nice job, baby. Nice job. I think it's the organization, but I think it's it's the fans, um, like I said, that come down, uh, Cardinal Nation that comes down and wants to be a part of this. He threw the final pitch of the 2011 World Series and joins us after the break. Former Cardinal Jason Mott stopped by the Cardinals Insider Desk down in Jupiter. Here's the 2011 World Champ with our Emily Stevens. Welcome back to another Cardinals Insider at the ballpark, or rather Cardinals Insider at Fantasy Camp. I'm Emily Stevens, and joining me today is former Cardinal Jason Mott. Jason, I understand this is your second time at Fantasy Camp. How has this experience been for you so far? Uh, it's been really good so far. Uh, we, um, we haven't quite won any games yet, uh, but even with that being said, it's been great. Uh, you know, the, the, the folks on our team have been awesome. Uh, we've had a great time uh, going out there, like I said, having a good time playing a kid's game, and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a good time overall. It's pretty cool to have so many former alumni and Hall of Famers participate in events such as these, this. Um, what does that mean for you to kind of, are you meeting anybody new today? It's kind of fun. You've all played on the same team, but not necessarily at the same time. Yeah, you know, it's cool. I think we had like 38 alumni here between, you know, whatever, you know, so, and, and it's pretty cool because like some guys that I know, some guys that I was like Gary Bennett, I was in camp with him for like that long, you know, but it's like still even that you get there, you talk to him like, hey man, how you doing? And then something you got guys like Wybie and Ozzy and Ted Simmons and stuff like that. Um, and I hadn't met Ted Simmons before uh, and just sitting there being able to get a chance to talk to him um, and just hear kind of some of the stories. And that's what's so cool about it is because, you know, even though we all played in different years, different whatever, we're all part of the same, you know, Cardinal family and uh, you know that's, that's what's so cool is we can all sit here and talk about that but like I said at the end of the day we're all part of the same family. And what is it with this organization? So many Hall of Famers, so many alumni, they keep coming back, they want to come to games, they want to come to events, they want to participate in events such as Fantasy Camp. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, I think it's the organization but I think it's it's the fans um, like I said that come down, uh, Cardinal Nation that comes down and wants to be a part of this but you know with the organization it's the kind of people that they have come down here as far as alumni and they're all awesome people and they're people that you can sit down and have a conversation with whether it is a you know a, a Gary Bennett who was here for a couple of years a Scott Spezio um, you got a World Series MVPs like David Fries and David Eckstein but then you have like Hall of Famers like Whitey Herzog Ted Simmons and Ozzie Smith that you could just sit down and talk like this hard to believe it's been almost a decade since that historic run in 2011 mm -hmm. I know you guys were all there at the 2011 reunion at yep. Bush. What was that like for you? Uh, that was awesome. Uh, you know, a lot of us, um, well, not a lot of us, like, you know, we had the older guys, the younger guys, uh, and stuff like that. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people were able to come back. And I thought it was pretty cool for a lot of the quote unquote, like, younger guys. Um, so, like, I know for us, um, like, the Craigs, a um, bunch of other people, like, Mitchell Boggs, guys like that, like, like, we didn't have kids then. So, like, now we come back, and now, like, our kids, or hanging out, running around, doing stuff, and you're like, oh, like this is cool. All right, well, Jason, thanks so much for your time today. That's all from Jupiter, Florida. We'll see you next time at Cardinals Insider at the ballpark. In just a moment, your hips always have to go in the direction that you're going to throw a ball. Learn more about playing shortstop with yours truly. No Place takes you in-depth with the Cardinals like our YouTube channel. Get to know the players. Come along for one-of-a-kind experiences and hang out with personalities from across Cardinals Nation. Plus, we capture the days and moments that make Cardinals baseball so special. Just search St. Louis Cardinals on YouTube and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. St. Louis Cardinals baseball. Cardinals alumni and campers get together for a hands-on instruction called Chalk Talks. Our cameras followed along during one of the classes. Take a look. Well, the important thing in fielding a ground ball is getting yourself in a comfortable athletic position. And what I found uh, this, that's the easiest way to, to try and field a ground ball is if you field it on the instep of your left foot, which means getting yourself in a position to where you're here. And you do this to eliminate a step. If you catch the ball squared up, it means now you gotta get yourself in a position to be able to throw it to a base, whereas if you catch it here, your hips always have to go in the direction that you're gonna throw a ball. So if you catch the ball in this position here, your hips are already going in the direction that you're gonna throw, so it becomes what we call a little crow hop. 
and, and you, throw, you throw it to that base. You flow into the rhythm of it where, as physics, when you remember, now I know this goes back a long way for some of you, because some of you are old. But what's in motion stays in motion. And so, for me, it was always about just changing the flow of energy. The, the, the flow, I take it from this direction and turn it into that direction. Because anytime you have to stop and start over, it makes the game tougher. So once you're, go, once you're flowing, let the energy flow. Let it keep flowing. This whole game is about playing catch. If you can catch the ball, throw the ball, and catch the ball, you're gonna be successful. So how can we simplify it? And that's what my college coach did for, for us. My college coach told us that you're never playing an opponent. You're only playing the game in yourself. So when someone hits you that ball, can you do your, I like to call it a right left pick up, right left of throw. So can you catch the ball, put yourself in a good position, throw the ball and have him catch it. That's the game. At the end of the day, if you can simplify that, you can win. The double play was one of my favorite plays because of an improvisation. We never really, a lot of times, we never really knew exactly how we were gonna turn a double play because it really depended on where the runner was. It became second nature, you know, to, to make it happen. And that's one of the, the, the great things about this organization, the consistency with which we, we've been able to do what we've done, we've done is, is, is because of the hard work and stuff that we put in long before 7 o'clock or 7.05 or 7.15, whenever the game starts. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. You can see more of my Shortstop Chalk Talk or any of today's interviews. They're all available on YouTube. But that's it for this episode. You can always catch us online at cardinals.com insider and on YouTube. We'll see you next week.